AC, alternating current, electric transmission, is the means by which large blocks of electrical energy are moved from generating sites to load areas that are at varying distances from the power generating plants. Electricity can be moved from the generating plant to an interconnection with a distribution system or even directly to industrial users. In addition to moving large amounts of electric energy over long distances, transmission is also the system backbone that ties many generating stations together, along with the primary substations, in what can be a complex maze of interconnections, also referred to as the grid. Depending on the facility, a variety of transmission systems exist, and transmission generally refers to operating voltages greater than 60 kV kilovolts. There are some facilities and systems that classify transmissions as low as 40 kilovolts, and some as high as 115 kilovolts. Several terms may be used to classify transmission ranges, such as 1. Ultra high voltage, UHV, above 765 kilovolts. 2. Extra high voltage, EHV, 345 to 765 kilovolts. 3. Transmission, 115, 138, 161, and 230 kilovolts. 4. Subtransmission, 34.5, to 115 kilovolts. 5. Distribution. 34.5 kilovolts and below. Transmission voltages can be found at 69, 115, 128, 230, 345, 500, and 765 kilovolts in various parts of the United States. Transmission lines can also be designed to transmit as AC alternating current or DC direct current. However, they cannot be both designs. Most transmission lines in the U.S. are AC. The efficiency of electric power transmission is greatly increased by operating at increased voltages. As a result, the current in the conductors is reduced and the power transmitted more closely matches the power input supplied to the transmission line. This increase in voltage is provided by a step-up transformer. High-voltage direct current HVDC transmission lines are increasingly important where isolating features are required to stabilize against control problems. These features will be necessary in large power distribution networks when encountering system interruptions or sudden loads in one area of the grid can cause synchronization problems in the rest of the power system. Besides the actual transmission lines, the transmission system consists of station transformers, switchyards, and transmission substations. The switchyard is typically located outside of the generating unit and provides a station transformer that increases the power voltage from the unit voltage to the transmission system voltage. The switchyard also is equipped with a switchgear, breakers, bus bars, as well as protective equipment. This switchyard equipment is used in configuring the electric power flow from the generating unit as well as protecting the unit and transmission grid. From this point, the transmission system connects to a distribution system located at the distribution substation. Transmission lines are typically installed above ground on overhead lines, except in more urban type areas that are densely populated. In urban areas, underground cable systems or bus bars are more often utilized. 